hello what's up youtube photographer ronix with another tutorial. this tutorial we're going to be learning how we can easily do skin retouching on an empty layer so usually we do frequent separation on the low frequency layer or even a layer that contains information but in this case we want to see if at all you can easily achieve the best results when we do the retouching on an empty layer and if at all this is a new technique and you learn a thing or two from it I request that you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching and you know you you're not yet subscribed rather to this channel so this is the image that we're going to be using for this tutorial and it was taken using natural light so i want to see if at all you can retouch and get the best results from using an empty layer so for this case i won't go in depth regarding frequency separation because i have so many tools about frequency separation from the very start to the very end so I just come to my actions and I play my 16-bit action because this is a 16-bit kind of file or image. So I just come and I play my 16-bit frequency separation action. So it is going to stop at the point when you have to determine the amount of textures that you want to remain with in your final or retouched image. So you take the radius down and you zoom into the image and you look for that area that seems to have more or prominent skin details than the rest of the image. And you take the radius up up to a point when these details are just starting to disappear so you have to left click and drag up the point when you are starting to lose out completely on the information or the details in the image so around seven that is when my details for this image just are just starting to disappear remember this is the most important step regarding skin retouching and frequency separation in general so i just simply click ok and if at all you're interested in buying or purchasing my actions Check the links in the description to support the channel for the content I always drop for you guys right here. And I'll basically be grateful for that. So as you can notice, usually my frequency separation action usually has an empty layer. So we just want to see if at all we can do skin retouching on an empty layer. So I'm just going to come and delete this check layer, which is the black and white layer for this case. So usually or the traditional of retouching. We select the layer that contains the colors and we get the mixer brush tool and paint over those areas and we blend those colors but in this case we just want to use the layer just between this and if at all you have a frequency separation action that doesn't have this empty layer you select the color layer or the low frequency and simply click right here to create that new layer between or the empty layer so what you have to take into consideration or understand about using this technique is after getting the mixer brush tool and setting it so you right click and get the mixer brush tool and after setting it so i'm just going to go through this quickly hardness zero soft round brush is selected clean brush is also selected right here and also the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke has been selected with the weight of nine load 75 mix at 90 in the flow of 100 percent this is the most important step when it comes to using this kind of technique sample all layers so remember this is an empty layer and it doesn't have in any information so when you try mixing on this layer after hiding the high frequency layer and this option is not turned on so when you try painting anywhere within the image you can see there is nothing happening or nothing taking place regarding the blending of the skin tones on the image you can say it's nothing that is being done or affected by the strokes we just made so in this case what we want to do is we want to ensure that the brush also or the empty layer has information that it can use to work on the image so what we are going to do first step is we make sure that we hide the high frequency layer so that when, when we select sample all layers right here this layer or the brush that doesn't sample information from the texture layer it has only sample from the color layer and when we start painting on the skin it is going to be copying or using the reference information in the color layer and painting it in the low frequency layer so let's just do that in a bit so i'm just going to zoom into this very image and after zooming it so when retouching always retouch at a distance like i usually tell you don't zoom all the way in so when you come and you start retouching after turning on sample all layers this layer is going to be sampling information from the visible layers and it won't sample texture information because we have hidden it 
So when you come and we want to blend the skin, reduce on the size and we mix and blend. So how to blend, you left click and hold down and you move the brush in the direction of how an area is shaped. So I have detailed videos about that. So you mix just like that. And you can see right now, since the layer is also sampling or copying information from the layer beneath, you can see the effect that it is giving us and it is now working. Unlike before when we hadn't commanded the layer to sample information from a layer that contains information in the first place. So just mix those areas. So we blend colors that are looking alike and we harmonize them. And in this way, you can see it is now looking great. It looks better than it was before. So when you come back and return on the texture layer or the high frequency layer, then we turn on and off the overall frequency separation group. You can see that it has now retouched the image and we have a good result. So if I told you want to proceed, you can come and hide this and continue mixing. So like I usually tell you, always retouch at a distance and you use different or varying sizes of your brushes so that you don't spill color from one area to another so you you play around with small brush sizes depending on the size of the area you're trying to work on so let me just do this quick and i'll show you the results in a bit so let me just do a, something very quick right here to show you basically how the results may be for this kind of technique so i'm just going to reduce this so you can use this technique if at all you're working on someone who really has or whose skin really needs so much work to be done. So you create an empty layer and work on it. Then you can go ahead and do a second frequency separation on the low frequency layer to do maybe something like a duo retouching. So at, at the skin, if at all it is really complex to work on, can really be perfected within one take of uh, retouching. So this is where this technique can be applied. So let me just mix these areas and I show you the results we have for just the first area. So I'm just going to turn on the high frequency layer. So if at all, I show you the before and after, that's the before, after, before, after, before and after. You can see that we can as well retouch on an empty frequency separation layer. But the catch here is always hide the texture or high frequency layer and simply check the sample all layers option so if at all you make a mistake during your retouching process you can come and simply get the eraser tool so if at all i come and i hide all these layers and i only leave our layer that has the empty layer that has information and if at all you have gone overboard with the retouching just get the eraser tool and you can rub away the area if at all you have over retouched it so when you come back and return these layers back on you can see or you can notice that it has not been retouched or the forehead area hasn't been retouched at all so you can see that we have erased this and this is going to be a non-destructive way of doing skin retouching using frequency separation so this is it for this video and if at all you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like this video. Don't, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to this channel. If at all, you always benefit. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.